I think I think I need to update everyone. So we did that binder video. And if you haven't watched it, it's um, it just goes through the research and history of binders, basically. We basically went through binders and we talked about zeolites and activated charcoal. And I wanted to do this kind of like follow up for people because I think a couple of people are asking for my thoughts now because we've like not called these companies out or call people out or called an individual product out. We're just saying, look, the science isn't there. And a lot of people are saying, well, you know, Dilly, what are you trying to say here? Are these dangerous or not? And I'm going to say it on record now, yes, these products are dangerous. And I know that's a very big statement to make, but I say it because of one thing. They don't have the research to back it up. And I cannot stress this enough. Zeolite or activated charcoal or any other binder, anything that binds or absorbs anything in the system cannot categorically be classified as a food supplement it literally cannot and so if someone comes at the bat and they're saying it's a food supplement that's bullshit i'm sorry I, i'm calling bullshit they need to be regulated and i can't stress this enough you have to be regulated when toxprint was launched and the froxman family and shout out to my froxman family literally the thing that they did in 2006 and actually getting registered as a medical device mm -hmm. was was incredible and the issue is, is like Mr. Gurner and his team, they really went for it with the medical device registration. They made sure they did the Nikolai Daskalov report where they showed that we only stayed in the gut. They showed that the product left the body. And thirdly, they showed that they, what they absorbed. They actually showed that this is what Toxparent absorbs in the system. And the problem is a lot of these companies like Tracy, honestly, you ask them what they absorb and they say the word toxins. Like I, if you watch my presentations or any of my lectures or anything we've done on an Instagram, they've literally said the word toxins. Um, and it's, that's frustrating because it's, imagine going to your GP and asking them or a doctor or a functional medicine practitioner and saying, what, it, what are you, what, what is it, your product's doing or what is it doing? And they just say, oh, it could be doing this. You're literally bullshitting people through the through the door and i think and and that's why i kind of like wanted to make this follow-up video because yes that video wasn't a call out to companies but i do think it's our obligation of being in this market of doing the research that we've done where i think i'm obliged and we as a company are obliged to protect the people that we're working with and like supporting and so you know Yes, I have said this with confidence. Yes, I said this with chest. And yes, that's my statement. And yes, it's a bold one. But I do think that we need to we need to change this. And recently I got contacted by um, two people. Um, one's a practitioner and her husband. And they're actually doing a documentary about zeolites. I'm going to link their pages in the description. And to be honest with you, when they reached out to me, I agreed. I did a recording for them. Um, we did a Zoom interview, and I think there's going to be a follow-up interview. And they basically asked me the hard questions. They asked me the questions that needed to be answered. And, you know, I sent them both the information, sent them the research. I will also send, the inf I'll also tag the information research in the description. And what they're doing, I think, is going to change the game a little bit. And T, I learned something that these companies are doing and it shocked me a little bit. So they asked me, they were like, Dilly, is, is Tox Prevent an MLM product? And for anyone listening, that's a multi-level marketing product, right? And so multi-level marketing products are basically where any person can recommend a product. It's like, if you're, it doesn't matter if you're a practitioner or whatever it is, you can just be like, oh, I like this product. I'll sign up and I'll sell the product. And I was like, are you serious? And they were like, yeah, it's like, is your product? And I was like, no, like we only, we can sell it or you have to be a healthcare practitioner and then you can recommend the product or you can come to us, ask our advice or you've got our YouTube, you've got our Instagram, you can reach out to us via email, you've got our telephone number, bloody hell. People can literally pick up the phone and call me if they want to chat through. And uh, Don't highlight that yeah. just <laughs> But um, And they were like, no, they've got people who are like recommending the product out, like just your average Joe user. And let's just go into this a little bit more because I think let's just take a quick couple second deep dive. Before, at the start of the video, I said that this is basically a binder. It mops up things in the body. 
it's not just mop, mop up toxins, it could also mop up nutrients. It could also, which and you know, if you have a mineral imbalance, iron, magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium, all minerals which make the makeup of the system, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to become sick, right? Mm. And so these, these companies are literally don't care. They don't care because their marketing as food supplement and at the bottom of the websites they're saying this statement has not been, um, you know, this statement hasn't been checked over by the FDA or the MHRA in the UK, for example. That's that's wrong, man. That's wrong because it means that you haven't got a backbone. You're not willing to stand behind your product because if someone gets sick, who do they go to? And then the thing is, worst part of this is, if a practitioner, and I'm going to say this to all the practitioners out there, if you recommend these products and your client or your customer, or whoever it is, doesn't feel the benefits and they get a toxic load and trust me if you check these two documentary people if you check these two people out they've had people report like liver failure and kidney issues if you recommend those products to those people and they become sick you do not have a leg to stand on because those companies won't support you if you look at tox prevent we're a medical device we have these um we have these like adverse reaction forms mm -hmm. and by the way shout out to tox prevent since 2006 we've never had a, a registered direct side effect from taking tox prevent mm -hmm. because of the way the ingredient works and so if you like i said if you cause an effect on someone and you've got no one to report to that's dangerous t mm. imagine a medication we're doing that well yeah there needs to be a process in place you know that's how um things need to be regulated there needs to be that safety measure in place i mean i think what i hear you saying is you know a call out to do better like we need to be doing better and the it kind of makes me sad actually because you're the one that introduced introduced me to zeolite I was it's not something at least when back when you know years and years and years ago um when I was in university it wasn't something that was spoken about a lot and when you introduced me to it and I did more research into zeolite I was like oh my god the properties of this are incredible like absolutely incredible but there's as we said in the other video which you can watch we'll link it down below as well if you want to um go into more detail but there are a lot of um potential downsides if it's not being tested and monitored and purified and all of these things vacuum sealed yeah particle size yeah, yeah. and i think like something we really need to understand is that a zeolite is not a zeolite is not a zeolite, you know? Just because something's called zeolite, that's not a regulated term. It's not all the same. And you re with this product in particular, it has incredible possibilities because in the current environment, there's nothing that we need more than something to protect us from all of this toxicity, heavy metals, histamine, mold, like all of those things are such massive contributors to people's health ailments in the modern world. Mm. So we need products like Toxivrent, like zeolites on the market to help support our health. They're amazing, but they also can be dangerous as they, you said they need, to be, they need to be safe yeah so you need to make sure that you're you know buying from a brand that you can trust buying from a brand that's regulated and as you said it's not a food supplement it is not a food supplement you know it's a binder it's a device it's something that should move through your body and be proven to move out of your body with those toxins so you're you're 100 percent right and i really hope that people hear this because what I would hate to see is zeolite being removed from the market because of the damage that some of these unregulated zeolite companies are causing and that would be the worst thing because it is an important thing that can help mm. a lot of people um, but we we need to regulate it and look I'm all for you know setting up a business and making sales like I understand it people have a passion for it but you know, people are watching this video, you've probably seen I'm very passionate about this subject. And yet, yeah, it does irate me a little bit and it does get on my nerves. And normally I'm quite, I keep myself to myself in, in this industry, but it's the first time I've started talking a bit more about it because I think I'm now getting to the point of anger because I've had these people say things against us as well. And, you know, I've literally, they've tried to talk to us. They've like 
companies reached out I mentioned it in one of the, in, in the in the Zillow documentary one of the companies actually contacted me in January of this year to get my opinion on why their product which is even licensed as a food supplement it's actually been licensed as like something for waste basically yeah. and like for agriculture so you know these these companies are like there and they're in the they're in the environment and I'm not having a go at you well am I yes so to an extent but all my all I'm saying to you is do better mm. like just do better it's not hard we're not a massive company we're not a massive team but we're good at what we do because we prioritize what's matter and look if it takes a bit longer that's fine you have time on your hands but all I'm saying to them is look just do better mm. just literally do the research and that, no, look actually do the research take your time and say to people I'm sorry, look, we messed up. There's a, there's a bit of information we've left out on. We need to do some research. Do you know what that means you're doing? You're standing up and you're owning up to the, owning up to a problem and saying, we're going to fix this. That's what companies do. Like in, in uh, the company, we have something called a quality management system. Frockton have it the same as well. And this quality management system is basically processes. And if we find a process that works better, we have this thing called cappers, which we put in. And these cappers basically allow us to make changes, to make improvements. So we're constantly improving. And that's all these companies need to do. And the thing is, look, to all these companies listening, if you want some support, if you want some advice, come to me. You can reach out to me. And that's just, I will have an open discussion with you and we can talk about it. But I want you guys to do better. Because that's what we've done. We've just done as best as we possibly can. And if you need support, and trust me, T, there are some big names in this industry. These these people aren't small. They're not tiny little peoples. They are big and they've got a, a loud voice. Mm. Just celebrate a product. And trust me, people will come. Yeah. Just please stop polluting the zeolite market, you know? And ruining its like, name. Yeah, because... It's not, it doesn't need to be a monopoly. Like there's space for lots of zeolite companies out there because as we say, it's such an important product for people to have. Um, but we just need to make sure that whatever zeolite companies out there, whatever products are out there are safe and regulated and tested. Um, and yeah, I mean, you and I both know a lot of these companies and people, they have the resources, you know, much larger resources than we do. So, yeah, please, please do better so that we can keep this important product on the market. Yeah. Like I said, we're here. And uh, mm. let me know your thoughts. I really, um, yeah. I really appreciate everyone who's given us the space to actually be able to talk about this now. And I really appreciate the, the, the two people that are doing this documentary and actually raising the awareness. Whatever, you know, whatever outcome comes from that documentary i am excited to see and you know if there's something that we could do better please do let us know but thanks everyone thank you